Joining us from APAC PC 2013 in Washington is Rabbi Doug Zeldin. Rabbi Zeldin is the uh, host of the TV show uh, Taped with Rabbi Doug. Shalom, Rabbi Doug. Shalom, shalom. So you're out there trying to recruit more assistance, more help, more solidarity, more uh, support for the land of Israel. You're out there crying to uh, uh, the potential activists, we need you. Bayagadola. It's a it's a big problem. Um, many people think that just because they consider themselves Zionists, that uh, they are supporters of Israel, but they don't realize that it takes numbers and it takes activism to really make a difference. For example, this year at the conference, there are approximately fourteen thousand people here in Washington D.C. If those numbers were twelve thousand less, and there were only two thousand people here, the the impact that it would have on the government on the on the lobbying would certainly be much much less the, the fact that over 50 percent of Congress is going to be attending tonight at the gala event here at, at the policy conference 2013 is really a, a sign that these 14,000 delegates who are here have made a difference and have an impact on conference on, on Congress and it really uh, it behooves every single person every person who considers themselves a Zionist or a supporter of Israel to become involved with APEC, to become a, a card-carrying member of APEC, to be at a conference such as this where their numbers make a difference. Because if this conference makes such a difference with 14,000, think how much more of a difference it would make if there were 17,000 or 18,000 Jewish people from the United States here showing their support for the state of Israel. So how would you uh, define the uh, role of pro-Israel activists these days? Well, pro-Israel activists certainly have to give their financial support in some way, but some of us can't afford that, I can tell you myself. Um, there's there's a lot of other things you can do. Number one is, of course, being a card-carrying member, making sure that you are one who shows your support and spreading the word. It's not just being there, but it's spreading the word. Part of uh, moving ahead and part of uh, uh, making a difference and going to to Washington and going to the Capitol Hill and lobbying is the numbers of people that show up at their congressmen's doors, show up at their senators' doors and say, we need you to support us. Israel needs you. The peace process needs you. The American-Israel alliance is something which is uh, indisputably necessary for, for, for democracy and for peace. You really have to get up and, and, and and show your support in a verbal way and you have to tell others that they have to do that too for others to just stand by and listen really isn't going to make a difference now regarding the APEC conference we uh, heard a few comments that uh, there's lots of politics coming in especially from the left what are your feelings about that? It's a very good question, and it's a hard one to answer, but I will tell you this. I don't think it makes a difference. I don't think it makes a difference because I really think it's the it's the main message here, the tachlis, as we say, that's really the important thing. The important thing here is that American, Israel, policy is one which is uh, non-disputed. It's one that Congress will follow through with the support for Israel, the support for Israel's right to defend itself. And no matter how much of the left pushes, it will never overrule the right. You're always going to have, we have a, a new defense secretary uh, that a lot of people aren't happy about. But you know what? Uh, nobody is going to let them do anything that's going to jeopardize the Israel-American relationship. We don't have to worry about that, I don't believe. But but we still have to show our support because we have to have other people backing us in the future. Remember, support currently is good. We're not worried that uh, President Obama is going to turn around and say, I don't support Israel anymore. But we don't know what's going to happen in the future. So our support now is really has a long-term effect. And it doesn't matter if the left steps in or if the right steps in a little bit more right now. I think the mainstream is the important thing, and that is we are here for one purpose. We are here to show our support for the American-Israel relationship, for America's support of Israel and its right to defend itself, and for uh, promotion of the peace process in the Middle East. Tell me, please. Uh, Rabbi Doug, was uh, the issue of Jonathan Pollard raised during the conference? Uh, it has not been raised in this conference publicly. It has been raised privately uh, in front of the media. It has not been raised. Um, uh, you know, just we know that just this week uh, it was brought to uh, President Obama uh, that he should uh, pardon Jonathan Pollard. I believe that uh, right now this is something that uh, has to be done in an 
under under the table sort of way where we have to talk to our own congressmen to push the president to do it. It can't just be us coming from the outside. And uh, it, it's taken a lot of years, and I think that it's just starting to bend. The pressure's just starting to bend where there is that possibility in the near future. But uh, I don't think it's going to be tomorrow or today, but it may be next week or next month or next year. Rabbi Doug Zeldin, thank you very much for joining us. Toda Rabah, Lihitraot, and Hatzlacha. Uh,